Hello friends, this presentation will be all about broaching tools. I will discuss the various fundamentals of broach as a tool and the broaching operations, its applications, its significance to metal cutting industries. Now this is how a broach tool looks like. A broach tool in a uh, cutting operations where you can see how the cutting fluids or the coolant is flushed on the broaching surfaces. Now this tool has four important features. One, it has multiple cutting tooth. The tool always moves linearly relative to the workplace and always in the direction of the tool axis. Very important. Third, the movement is through or along the path and in the left hand side of the move picture you can see how the teeth or the successive teeth are at gradually increasing height. Now these are pictures of components showing both internal broaching and external broachings. Now what is the significance of this broaching operation? This operation can be performed on jobs which are done more laboriously on milling drilling, boring, shaping, planning and other key way cutting machines. Now you can see in the picture how a gear where a key way is to be slotted and a brooch with pits is used to machine the slot. Now what is this? How would you define a broaching operation? Now, broaching is a method of removing metal by a broach tool that has several successive cutting pits with cutting edges and this tool is made to move linearly thereby each teeth removes a very small amount of material. And the job is completed in one stroke of the machines. But there are certain limitations of the machine as it can be power or the length of the stroke. In that case, the job can be performed in more than one stroke. Now the cutting conditions in broaching. Three important parameters or the cutting parameters in all metal cutting operations be it turning, milling, grinding and these three are cutting speed, feed and depth of cut. Now in case of a broaching operation the cutting speed as we have already discussed is very low. It is almost 3 to 5 meter per minute and the motion is accomplished by the linear travel of the broach past or through the work surface. Second is the feed. Now the feed in broaching is unique among all the metal cutting operations. It is in turning it is very simple, it is the distance travelled by the tool in one revolution. But here the broaching tool have multiple teeth and not all the teeth are engaged in cutting. So there are many active teeth which remove material during this operation. And the feed is defined as 
the material removed by the tooth single tooth is the feed and the total feed is termed as the acute active cumulative feed which is the total material removed in a single pass of the brooch this is called feed the depth of cut is defined as the length of the active cutting edge from the definition of feed and depth of cut it follows that the total area of the cut and the corresponding cutting forces in broaching are very significant theoretically a broach tool can be designed to complete a single operation in one pass or one go but Owing to the operational limitation of this process, maybe limitation of power of the machine or the stroke length limitation of the machine, it is always desirable to complete single operation in more than two passes. In broaching operation, the shape of the workpiece surfaces. or the feed or depth of cut cutting speed these are all dictated by the tool and not by the machine length of the stroke power of the machines these are all limitations which need to be taken into consideration while designing the broach most importantly during this operation the workpiece must be strongly textured and supported so that the operator is confident enough to operate the broach tools sufficient cutting fluids should be flushed for three reasons it cool the workpiece and the broach it also lubricate the cutting surfaces it also flushes the chips which are generated and it also clean the teeth for broaching a predetermined hole is required that should be there in a cast or a forced or if it is a machine component a predetermined hole in the form of drilling or boring is required now it cannot be tried to finish broach on an off center or a misaligned misaligned hole since the broach has a natural tendency to follow the previously formed hole these are various figures showing the different types of holes cross section of different type of holes round holes square hexagon single splines these are inverted splines multiple splines now we are in a position to define what a broach is a broach is nothing but a multiple point cutting tool consisting of a long bar the cross section could be of a round square hexagon and having series of cutting teeth or cutting edges which gradually increase in size from the starting to the rear end now there are few figures in this slide one showing a complete broach tools with cutting teeths then few components showing the cross sectional area the broaching operation is done to generate these cross sections and in the extreme left there are two types of broaching one is internal broaching and the other is external broaching and in the top corner you see you can you can see the cutting tool geometry of the teeths which we will be studying in detail in later slides 
one point to remember is the broaching operation can be done in any of the surfaces the surfaces could be flat circular or any inter intricate shape and if it is done in inside surface then it is called internal broaching and on outside surfaces it is called external broaching now in a broaching operation the broach tool is usually pushed or pulled linearly but in specific application like gun barrel rifling or to generate a spiral spline the broach is always rotated either it is pushed or it is pulled now there are three figures the left figure shows the inside bore of a gun barrel the how the spirals are created and in the extreme left the straight splines are created on the gun barrel now these are figures showing products and components completed with the help of broaching operations now this operation has tremendous potential in aircraft industries automotive industries energy industries few applications which i have already discussed as i have already told you broaching operations can be done on any surfaces it could be flat circular regular or irregular there are certain components where broaching is also done like turbine blade connecting rod ends rifling or gun barrels which we have already discussed keyways splines and straight or helical gear teeth some more figures showing few products done with the help of broaching operations the surface broaches are also shown in the figure majority of the components that can be broached are pliers wrenches clutch pressure plates jet engine plates gear splines gears rocker arms spider splined holes keyways etc now some economic considerations broaching tools are very expensive due to their complexity in fabricating and the economics of this process must be very carefully studied the production rates up to 400 pieces per hour automation is possible to improve production rates and the production volumes is very high 10000 to 1 lakh pieces to improve the production rates many parts can be machined at once called stacking and stacking is best suited to internal features lead times moderate material utilization poor large quantities of chips are generated which can be recycled flexibility is very high little dedicated tooling setup times are generally short accurate regrinding of the broaching tool required on large production runs which uses expensive feature fixtures and grinding machines tooling cost high equipment cost low to moderate direct labor cost low to moderate some skilled labor may be required finishing cost low some deburring may be required now the advantages and limitation of broaching operation what are the various advantages of broaching one 
Broaching is faster, though we have discussed the speed of the broach tool is very low, but the operation itself is very fast. As we have discussed, the productivity or the high production rate, it is around 10,000 to 1 lakh pieces per hour it can generate. With a very good finish and confirming the dimension, that is it is more accurate. Second, as each tooth of the brooch takes a very small amount of cut in one, one operation, the brooch itself has a very longer life. Third, the brooch operations or the brooch tool perform both the roughing as well as finishing operations as both type of teeth, roughing teeth and finishing teeth are in one single broach tool unlike the other machining operations where both a roughing and finishing is done separately as the machining cycle is simple the broaching operation does not require a highly skilled operator the cutting force generated due to broaching operation serves a purpose to clamp down the workpiece or fixturing the workpiece which is the requirement of broaching operation to hold the job firmly in one position. These are several advantages which we have discussed. Now the limitation of broaching. The initial cost of a brooch tool is very high. The machine itself is very costly. Therefore, the operation can be justified only where there is mass production. The grinding of the brooch teeth or the brooch sharpening is an expensive and a difficult process and it requires a separate grinding machine. A surface having an obstruction in a way of broad trouble cannot be machined. Very fragile, delicate, light components cannot be broached. Next is one broach is used to produce only one type of surfaces. Therefore, for getting different shapes, say for a square or for a circular or for any size that matters, different brooches are required. Now in this operation, blind holes cannot be easily produced through brooching.